Oh fuck, Crick is still here. God damn it, get Crick out of here. No, that's not Crick. That's not Crick. There he is. Get out of here, you old fuck. Creepy old skeleton piece of shit. Sorry, sorry to any Crick fans out there, but uh he's dead and um thank God. Alright. <sighs> How's it going, chat? I'm eating a, um, what did my mom call it? Uh, uh, a muffy? It's like a, it's the top of a muffin. Right? Like, it's a muffin top, but it's a, it's a, like a cookie. It's alright. It's alright. Chad, how are you? How are you guys doing tonight? I have had a day. Uh, which is, you know, could be a good thing. I keep my secrets. Um, we're playing Ape Escape tonight. Uh, Ape Escape is one of my favorite games. 
that I've never played more than half of. Um, I grew up, um, my cousins play, had Ape Escape. And so we'd play a lot of Ape Escape. But, you know, we never got farther than like halfway into it, right? And as an adult, I've played a lot of Ape Escape. But I always like start over. I never like beat it. So my intent is obviously not with this stream, but in uh, sub, 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 sequential streams to at some point be Ape Escape. I am hoping this can be a full playthrough. I am hoping that the game is as good in my head as it really is. Because I feel like I have a track record of uh, looking at games that I really, really think I would love. And then when I play them on stream, they just don't do it the way I need them to do it. The the muffin is okay. It it's really just the top of a chocolate chip muffin. That's it. But like the bottom is like a cookie. Strangely alright. Hmm. Hey, I, um... I've been watching a lot of stuff this week. Um, you know, I finished, uh, uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, um, which I would love to talk about in more detail, but I haven't figured out the right platform for that. Um... Let's just say I liked it, I loved it, but I got problems with it. Um, I watched Brockmire Season 3. I love Brockmire, I love Hank Azaria. Um, let me just say, I liked it, I didn't love it, I have problems with it. Uh, but the issue is my problems with it make me sound like I'm an alt-right fuckboy. So I'm a little bit hesitant voicing uh, my problems with it. Um, why is my, I got like a, there we go. Uh, I started watching Shit's Creek, uh, because I really, really like Eugene Levy and, uh, Catherine O'Hara. Um, it's season one. I've heard it gets really good in, you know, season two onwards. Season one's fine. I've laughed uh, several times, which is more than I can say for a lot of, like, sitcoms, a lot of, like, uh, modern-day sitcoms. So I'll, I'll be watching more of that. But I've been watching arguably the greatest show ever. Arguably maybe my favorite show ever. So that's a great debate. I've been watching Simpsons. Surprise. Straight white comedy writer likes The Simpsons. What? Um, I mean, I'm on season eight. I just finished season eight. Um, so uh, I'll say first of all, the episode Homer's Enemy. Uh, on my DVD, my never used DVD set, fresh, brand new DVD set. Homer's Enemy won't play. The first 10 minutes causes every DVD player I own to just shit its pants. It cannot handle it. Now, luckily, um, The Simpsons is a show that some people have watched before. So, the episode was just bootlegged on YouTube. So, I got to see the first 10 minutes. That's a good episode. Um, but, I'm on season 8. 
right? And to some people, season eight's when the quality starts going downhill. I don't know if I agree. I don't think I, I, I think I do, but I don't. I think the quality has gone downhill. And in season eight, I think it does go down a little bit. But that's like saying like, um, that's like saying it's, uh, amazing and fantastic instead of saying it's perfect. Right? Like, it's still in season eight, an amazing show, an amazing, hilarious show. It's just slightly not as funny. Now, I've heard season nine is when it really starts going. Season 10, it's barely hanging on. And by season 11, it's gone. I don't know. I haven't seen seasons 9, 10, and 11. But I don't think I'm going to get to 11. Uh, I think I'm going to stop with season 10. Um, I think that's my plan. I think instead of sullying the good Simpsons name in my head, I just don't think I'm going to go any further. And I'm going to watch seasons 9, 10, and the movie. And be like, yep, that was the series. Simpsons over. And then I'll watch it all again with commentary. And then I'll watch it all again without commentary. And then I'll watch it all again with commentary. I really like The Simpsons. I think The Simpsons is the, um, the bar for comedy writing on television and I think character writing. I think The Simpsons has such good character moments, both comedically and emotionally, um, that make it like the bar. I know, guys, crazy, I like The Simpsons. The, I, it's nuts that someone out there can say something nice about The Simpsons. I mean, disgusting, disturbing. It's fucked up. That's all I'll say. <sighs> hey, before I forget... Um, tomorrow's Encore. Um, it's a, it's a solo Encore. I will be playing, um, games, uh, itch.io, itch.io games about babies. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one. I've already previewed a couple games and there are, there are things, chat. There are things happening on itch.io. <sighs> All right. What do you think, chat? Should we get into it? Should we actually play a video game? Okay. We'll play a video game. I'm going to run an ad first. Oh, get the fuck out of here, Crick. Okay. We're back from the end. Yeah, we're back. No, wait. One. Now we're back from the end. Welcome back, chat. Uh, for all of you who uh, aren't a Twitch sub, uh, we were j we were talking all kinds of crazy shit about you. We know what you did at Aunt Miriam's house last year, and quite frankly, it was fucked up that you blamed that on me. And um, the rest of chat knows, and they are, they're coming for you. Anyway, let's play Ape Escape. Um, I want to see if my save 
is is here. Or maybe I should say saves. Um, I mean, can I do load game? Let's see. Let's see if I have any saves on this memory card. The memory card I put in is one of... Um, if I don't... No! Okay. Uh, return. The memory card I put in is the, that, like, classic default PlayStation 1 gray memory card. Um, and that's where I keep the saves to all of the good games. All of the, like, premium saves go on that one. And then all the saves for every other PlayStation 1 game go on a separate memory card. But, like, Spyro 1, Metal Gear Solid, uh... This game, they're all, like, on that memory card. Um... I absolutely love the aesthetic of Ape Escape, but that's heavily influenced by the fact that it's a PlayStation 1 game. And, um... Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the petition yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking, because I'm going first. That's not... Good voice acting. Those guys do not sound like little kids. Which maybe they're not. Maybe they're supposed to be like 15. Hey, Professor! Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station! Oh, Spike, watch out! Oh! No, no, run you two! <laughs> the monkeys activated Metal Gear. I mean, those series have had a lot of crossover. Dumbass monkey. You can tell he's the bad guy because he has edgy, cool hair. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Okay, so the mon here's here's the summary in case you weren't paying attention. The monkeys pressed the big button and turned on the time machine, and now the monkeys are all throughout time. There's been an accident, and we gotta catch them. We're like a really cool anime dog catcher, but with monkeys. Dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination. This kind of, I, I mean, I love this game, but it reminds me of like Mega Man Legends. I, if I had the money, I would love to do a Mega Man Legends screen. But those games are pricey. But it's this kind of aesthetic, right? Like this game, the Mega Man Legends games, Tail Concerto. Like those games, that aesthetic is my favorite aesthetic ever. I love how these games look. And as time goes on, I just think they look uh, just... Better and better. I think they hold up in ways that, um, games that go for realistic art styles just don't hold up. Alright, let me show you how to catch a monkey, chat. Okay, well, hold on. And it's as easy as one, two, three, baby. How do I jump again? Isn't it like R1? Yeah. So, you know, they were still trying to figure out the controls. So, R1's your jump button, which, you know, is strange. But, they, you know, this is like the first DualShock game. Which, yeah, if you had a PS1 back in the day, and you were really excited to catch some monkeys, but, like, somehow you missed... The information that you needed a dual shot controller, 
you were just fucked on this one. But this makes this game a, a great controller tester. Come here. Easy. Yes. Oh. It's like seeing an old friend again. Only you're a lot older and fatter. And they just kind of look nicer. You did great. <laughs> I, uh... I really like monkeys. <laughs> I, uh... That's not me saying hiya. That's me going aya. Uh... Oh, is this the save? Let's save just in case my PlayStation 2 dies. Uh, I I really just I like monkeys, man. You know, I like monkeys and video games. Monkey video games, I really like. Um, you know, I mean, I guess I guess Donkey Kong's a gorilla. But, I really love the Donkey Kong Country games. Those are some of my favorite games of all time. Um, I really like... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to... Display capture? There it is. I'm trying to get that to fit in the lines. I really like the Donkey Kong Country series a lot. I love Ape Escape. I just love video game monkeys. Just something about them does it for me. Are there any other cool... I mean, there's like a... Let's see, other cool... What do we do? Return. Uh, return. Okay, other cool video game monkeys. Uh, you've got uh, the Naked Monkey from Metal Gear Solid 4. That one's kind of cool, but may maybe we don't talk about him. Um, you've got... No, okay. Chad, how do I go forward in the game? There it is. Um, what are other cool video game monkeys? I don't know, I can't think of any. Can we count Curious George? There's Curious George video games. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. What are other good video game monkeys? Oh, the monkey ball games? I love Monkey Ball. Um, I love. Uh, how do I dive? I don't think I can. Can I? Uh, I mean, kind of, but like not really. Please. Air. Oh, you pr you press the left stick in to dive. Ooh, that's strange. I love these, like... I love seeing the thought process in these controls before anyone figured out what... the How conventional... What, what the conventional, conventional layout... For these controls should be. Alright, where's the monkey? Hello, monkey. Oh, look at this fake monkey. Look at him. <laughs> he just, he just vibing. Get him. Oh, get him. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Got him. It's just interesting. How far we've come with controls in like 
20 years. Where this definitely doesn't feel bad, but it's strange because it's not a control scheme any other game has. Oh, another, uh, other uh, great games to add to the, like, great PS1 aesthetic is, of course, the Spyro games. They've got a great aesthetic. Um, especially as that series went on, those games just kept looking better and better. You know, I've never been a fan with, of how, like, the Crash games uh, looked that much like I really uh, like the animation and how like fluid and uh, you know rubbery it is but I always felt like the textures were really dark and I feel like the PlayStation 1 really benefits from like um, unrealistic bright colors I feel like that's its best aesthetic uh, you know basic colors but, like, uh, more detailed than, like, Bubsy 3D. Right? If you jump on a tree, you can climb up. And that, yeah. The two-step jump. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, that aesthetic where things are textured, but the textures are still very basic and unrealistic. I think that's uh, the best PlayStation 1 aesthetic, and in turn, maybe my favorite aesthetic in games. Like, I remember the first time I saw Tail Concerto, and it was just like, oh, that's an art style. That looks damn good. And it wasn't like I saw it the day it came out. I did not see it until like 15 years after it came out. But it just looks so good. It looks so cartoony. It, it pops so much. And it's just, it's really memorable. I can count. Oh, yeah, I can crouch. Come here, monkey. Where'd you go? I'll get you. Got him. Sniped. Uh, I'm gonna say with almost complete confidence, I am the only one playing Ape Escape on Twitch.tv tonight. Um... I think it was it was a few it was a handful of weeks ago um, where I had finished a stream and we had like an audience of like 12 or something and I was like okay I'm just, I'm passing this off to to another streamer because we never have an audience of 12 um, and so I looked up streamers uh, you know I just looked up Ape Escape on Twitch and there was one dude playing it. And I hosted him, and he was like, oh, well, thanks. Hey, are you a Ape Escape speedrunner? And I was like, well, no, I'm just I'm just a fan. I just like Ape Escape. And uh, I guess that shows you the, the state of the Ape Escape community on Twitch. Uh, sad day, that's all I'll say. And if Sony were to announce an Ape Escape remake or Ape Escape 4, I think uh, you would see uh, a million different Ape Escape streams to hype up for it. Remember this clip. I will link to this someday when they announce it and there's all these Ape Escape streams on Twitch. I will announce it. Or I, I will link to this and I will go, I called it and now you all have to watch my stream. To, and say thank you. Let's go. So, so this is the level that me and my cousins played the most. I don't know if it was because it, you know, it was so big and it's so early in the game. So our dumb little baby brains could get this far, but then we spent forever going through this level, trying to find the apps. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I know this game. I have seen speedruns in this game. 
I, I, I'm not attempting one right now, and I don't think I ever could, but I have seen speedruns of this game, and it looks like, uh, it's a very easily exploitable game, which is cool. I love games that casually are really solid, and then whenever you get into speedrunning them, they are just wonderful, like, insane speed games. Um, that's, like, that's kind of fun with Sonic games, right? Is there... Usually, for the most part, decently built games. Um. And then, uh... Then they become, like, uh... When you want to speedrun them, they become, like, insane, crazy speed games. Where I guess, like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is, like, one of the hardest speed games. Because it's got, like, these tricks that are just, like, nuts. They're very hard to pull off. Um, I don't know if I like games with hard tricks to pull off. But it's, it's interesting that I would not describe Sonic 3 and Knuckles as a hard game at all. But as a speed game... From what I've heard, it is a, a really hard game. Well, I, uh, I've never got those guys designed. They're like, they're, they're like weird Goombas. They're like bootleg Goombas. They're Roombas. Here, get the big Spectre coin. Give me that. Uh, this game has a lot of dinosaur stuff, I think. Isn't it, like, almost all dinosaurs? Shh, chat, watch this. Oh, the music even shuts up whenever you're crawling and being sneaky. Okay, game. What are we doing? Oh, no, let me go. Come here. Come here. As long as there's no monkeys that disappear forever, we're good. What's in that I'd show? Is there any like cool secrets? No. I'm getting out of here. I hate that pterodactyl. That pterodactyl is terrible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, we can't hit the T-Rex. Oh, uh, hey, you got a monkey on you. Oh, we're, wait, uh, how am I, I, do I gotta chase the T-Rex to get the monkey? That monkey is, is the strongest monkey we've encountered thus far. I guess I don't, I can just get this monkey, right? Then we can go on. All right, T-Rex monkey, you live another day. I know there's a lot of monkeys we won't be able to get right off the bat. We'll have to come back for them, and that's okay. Even though the completionist in my brain is screaming. Do, chat, do any of you play like that? Do any of you... Feel like oh I have to get everything before I can move on with collectathons. I feel that way, but I know with this game there's just no way of doing that. With this game, you like have to just keep going. And then eventually you'll get new gadgets and then you can get those monkeys. Here's a monkey radar. Oh track those monkeys down. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next day. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the monkey radar is... I really need extensive heavy training on the monkey radar. Let's go. Okay, that took it a second. Uh, monkey... Is this one? Hello, monkey. Can I not? 
catch him? You didn't give me a net. You only gave me a radar. Let's see, is there any other monkey? Uh, there's another monkey. Oh. There we go. We have found all monkey. Okay. It's not like that, you know, Spike. Was you are now on a five head. Mysterious time of the jungle ruins. You must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen before. Go on to explore the temple. Anybody else get a feeling of like uh the temple is laid You remember in like the Pokemon anime? Or like the movies for the Pokemon anime where they like video call each other. That's the feel I get from that. From, from these cutscenes. Uh-oh. I think my copy of Ape Escapes a little scuffed. <laughs> Either that or my PS2 is really in the death throes. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna take over the world. Has a chastity belt on his head. You must listen to me carefully. It's true that the peak point helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the peak point helmet back to me immediately. Bring it back? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. Uh, I'm sorry, Professor. A new army of apes. There's no stopping us now. The future is mine. <laughs> Spectre does not sound threatening, does he? I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. You're wearing a poncho? That's pretty badass. Humans be the dominant species. A villain that wears Mickey Mouse shorts, a poncho, and a chastity belt on his head? That's a tough guy. Just wait, you'll see. We're not gonna stand around and you take over. Spike? That little runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Jake. Not Jake. Our best friend. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you. You can tell he's evil from the red eyes. What's happening? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it. Pull yourself together. Can you hear me? It's no use. Jesus, maybe this really is Metal Gear. is being controlled by Spectre. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. I'm in control, and no one, no one can stop me, especially not you. Well, I've got to go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Scary. Oh, six monkeys this time. Out of a total of 14? That is an insane amount of monkeys. Alright. So after that lore... Uh, so after that lore dump... 
gadget. Can we, yeah, we'll assign this to circle. Um, after that lore dump, now we can go back to catching monkeys. Yeah. No, not in that one. Ah, what is hitting me? What was that? It was like a tiny little dragonfly. Okay. This, okay. This level hates me. This level actually hates me. Come here, blue pants. Come here. Okay. He, he has such sad eyes. I'm sorry, monkey. You had to die, though. It's my job. I'm just doing my job, alright? Blame the system. Not the worker. It, it's giving me some skips. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm just gonna try a quick reset of the capture card. This Elgato Cam Link uh, has been such a, a huge failure. Um, it's actually insane how little it really works. But you live and you learn. I've heard uh, people say there's like these like Chinese bootleg capture cards that are actually the way to go um, anymore. And I'm super interested in that. Um, <laughs> I, I have to do, you know, a little bit more research before I drop money on it. But like... It would not surprise me if Weird Bootleg is the way to go for a decent capture card anymore. For for just every... Uh, just having an all-in-one capture card that can play everything, it would not surprise me if we have to resort to bootlegs. Oh, this is just a pit. You'd think there'd be a, like a monster in here. But no, it's just a hole. What does the mailbox say? The results of my scanning showed that there's something on the other side of the valley. Okay, I need a flying gadget. Oh. What was that? Hold on. Is there another one hiding? You see that chat? Is there actually another one hiding? Where is he? He's in here. There's another one hiding in there. Why would you both choose the same hiding place? You'd think they, you know, would think that one through a little bit. Do you have a gun? That monkey has a gun. Oh. Kill the monkey with a gun. I mean, I think we just did the world a service, honestly. No, please, sir. Let me out. We just... I mean, we just caught an armed monkey. We probably just saved thousands of lives, dude. Okay. I'm getting real sick of that. Did I just swim? Alright, we're just swimming out of here. Oh. Are there any monkeys? There's monkeys that way. Lazy little guy. I like him. What's his name? Dillweed? <laughs> I like Dillweed. That's a good monkey. Okay. Uh, hello? 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, this controls exactly as weird as you think it would. Okay. Right. All right. Where's 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 Dillweed at? Is he over here? Well, that's not Dillweed. This dude's definitely more active than Dillweed, but we'll try and get him. I don't think I can jump that high. I got him. I got him. <sighs> that one took work. Where's Dillweed? I. Where is he? There he is. He's over this way. I want to hang out with Dillweed. They should, if they ever, if they ever really do make a new Ape Escape, something they should include is like you can, you can actually like, like a, like a chow garden for the monkeys. You can go in and like hang out and play with the monkeys and see their different personalities in action. I think that would be fun. But maybe that's just because I really like the monkeys. Oh, good health. That's, I, um, growing up, I didn't understand that the, the health was cookies or like, uh, yeah, they're cookies. I did not understand that as a kid. I thought they were like dog treats and I didn't understand why Spike was collecting dog treats. It just did not make sense to me at the time. Uh, how do I get through there? Also, I guess I can just keep going with this. How do I turn it around? Do I have to dive under? Maybe? Why does it glow like that? Do we... Do we let me in? Uh. Okay, what am I missing there? Is it supposed to be glowing? Because <laughs> something tells me no. Oh. Got it. We gotta go. We gotta go. Faster. Oh. Uh, we made it. We made it. Our spine may be crushed, but we made it. Dillweed, come here. Dillweed? Dillweed, you son of a bitch. Come here. Behave, Dillweed. Alright, we're leaving the raft, I guess. Is there... There's definitely... Wait. Is there another monkey climbing around? I thought there was like a monkey down... Weird. Very strange. We're just gonna forget about it. We're just gonna keep going and try to find another monkey. Oh, this seems vast. Oh, good. There's a raft. Years of Mario Party. Playing Mario Party 1. And only Mario Party 1. Have prepared me for this moment. Or at least I hope they did. There we go. Uh, are we gonna get racially insensitive monkeys? I don't think I'm down for that. No, they're fine. They're just normal. I guess that's a tent. I thought it was like a teepee. Oh, okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I've always, I, I'm nervous to play the Gex games. Um, only because 
I'm very nervous. And I, because I don't know how racially insensitive those games are. I know Gex does impressions. And he, he's a very funny. Very funny. But I'm just worried that Gex is going to say, do an impression. Uh, and it's going to be like, it's coming from a white comedian. And it's going to be of an, uh, a not white character. And it's going to be a really r racist written not white character like he's gonna do like Tonto or like uh you know what I mean I'm just worried Gex might not play well in 2020 I'm just worried we're gonna have to cancel Gex I'm gonna save real quick it's been a little bit since we saved and because my PS2 is a ticking time bomb it's always good to do so <sighs> Say, mm -hmm. I even like I love the stars I love this whole aesthetic going on here oh we're 8% through the game well we'll have this beat by the end of the night at this rate okay I'll do the next one also, apologies if the audio is skipping. I don't know how to fix that. I think my copy of Ape Escape might just be a little bit borked from years of play. Who's the, uh... Who's this AI woman? All right, blue pants, you're the first one on the list. Come here. Come here. Stop running. <laughs> Stop running. I will chase you to the ends of the earth, you monkey fuck. Am I... Am I catching up to him? Am I making any progress on that? Something tells me no. Something tells me old blue pants here. Worn out from running. He's got a very high speed. Something tells me that I can't outrun him. And so we won't. We'll go look for other monkeys. Is that, what is that? That's definitely supposed to be an enemy. Hold on. Uh, hold the phone. The audio's skipping. The enemies aren't spawning correctly. I mean, the disc is lightly scratched. But nothing major. Is my PS2 really on its last legs? This, this really might be the thing that, that forces me to go get another PlayStation 2. It reminds me of, uh, 
I think I've talked about this on stream before. I have a copy of, uh, was it James Bond from Russia with Love on the PS2, where James Bond just doesn't load. Uh, it's just his gun floating. Okay. Let's see if the enemy's loaded this time. Let's just do a quick check on that. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Load game. Load. Thick jungle. Okay. Well, no audio skipping yet. Let's see. How strange. Yep, the enemies are loading now. How weird, chat. What a strange thing. Because these weird, uh, I don't even know what to call them. They look like radishes. They look like onions. They were definitely not there before. Yeah, because that was their, we were fighting their nose. Look, they got these little noses. Only their noses were loading in. Why preservation, game preservation is so important. Because, yeah, my disc's a little scuffed, but, like, what if, you know, what if it's early stages of disc rock? It's not, but eventually, all of, all of our games, chat, will rot. And that's the issue with physical media, is someday, some way, they're all gonna rot and fall apart. Now, the issues with digital media is you don't really own it, but, and so I, I actually prefer physical media, but still, that's why games preservation is so important, so that if, if you know, 40 years from now, every, uh, every copy of Ape Escape is suffering from disc rot, there'll still be a way to play Ape Escape. I just kind of want to, instead of catching a monkeys, I just want to kill all these weird onion men. I hate them. They're like the most bootleg Pokemon. We'll go in here. The soundtrack to this game though, chat. Oh. How good. Oh my, I'm getting bodied. Okay, well that just took all of my health. That's okay, I didn't need it. There's a monkey, come here monkey. Oh, monkey. We're gonna see that monkey. That monkey catfished. That monkey catfished and then uh, murdered me. And quite frankly, I, I am sick of it. And this monkey will hear from my lord. He also has a gun. I should have known. If you see someone carrying a gun, maybe don't follow them. Maybe go the opposite direction. That's a. Uh, that's our. That's Fudge Films learning pro tip for the week. If you see gun, run. <gasps> Another gun. Come here. Put the gun down. Now you may be thinking, I'm just catching innocent monkeys. And I can understand that. 
But these monkeys now have guns. They have intent to kill. Okay. These are not innocent monkeys anymore. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that box went from firmly wedged to, to falling at 100 miles an hour real quick. The, all the look at that. That's just like the new. This is the new regions uh, Geodude. That's all that is. These are all just Pokemon. The monkey will turn on the fan if they see you. Okay, so I can. If the monkey sees me, I have to curl up and play dead. Oh, he saw me. Ow. Ow. Uh, so that's... This is a, a little bit difficult. Why are you on the button, monkey? Monkey, get off the button. can't got him years of metal gear solid finally came in handy so i'm gonna die again i need health badly i think if they make a new ape escape uh, i want them to okay at least have a control option that allows for you know more conventional controls. Because it's hard to, like, hit these guys. You know what I mean? It's... There we go. It's tough to just nail them. With these controls sometimes. Now, it could... It, it, part of it is just I'm bad. I'll admit to that. I will get better. But... The, the unconventional controls definitely don't help the fact that I'm just terrible at video games okay, very carefully we're just gonna we're just going for a walk that's all this is okay all that was up there was a spectre coin uh how many get down <gasps> Ooh, another monkey Okay. <laughs> Let's do a 2D section. I guess. No. You guys remember during the Monkey Ball stream where I said that my analog sticks stick? Yeah, that's still going on. Now, it's better than in Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball, it's, uh... A lot harder whenever your sticks are just gooped up. But, uh, my sticks are still gooped. And I don't mean that in an innuendo. Don't. Okay. How many? We need two more monks. Two more apes, scapes. Okay, well, that dude was just fucking off. That was easy. Give me more of those guys. Um, is that the only reason we came in here? There's gotta be something else in here, right? Oh, camera, please. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. You never know with 3D platformers which way you're gonna jump from the pole. You don't know if you're gonna jump forward, you don't know if you're gonna jump back. You don't know if you're just going to fall straight down. It's always all over the place. 
Okay, all that was up there was a Spectre coin. That was a waste. Was it? Eh. I mean, I'm gonna get them eventually, right? So, wait, blue pants. We got blue pants. We got blue pants. He tried to run from us. He may be faster, but we were smarter. I think. Uh oh. The audio is stuttering again. We're gonna save again. We're gonna hope that the enemies show up in the next level. Thick jungle. Okay. On to the next one. Cryptic relics. Oh. Look what I've got. A new gadget. A. The letter Y. We finally got it. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training bay. Without training, it will be too dangerous. Yeah, I know. Training, training, make me smart. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing some like, we're doing some like Dennis the Menace shit, some like Bart Simpson shit. Does this thing have auto aim? I don't know. But uh, this could actually come in handy. It would let us stop some monks who are running too far ahead. Oh, we can hit switches. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three different types of bullets. Okay. I'm gonna use the explosion. Okay, and then what's this one? Oh, heat seeking. That's kind of. Oh wait. Whoa. Okay. Well, it didn't get this guy. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, well the slingshot can be useful. All right, five monks. Ooh, I uh, I don't remember this stage. I don't know how far I ever really got in this game. Honestly, I know I got past the first like race with Jake. I know I got at least that far, but outside of that, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. I have a slingshot. I got it. We're going to put this guy out of his misery. Rest in peace, you ugly fuck. It is difficult to do precise aiming with with the stick as as screwed up as it is. It's just worn down after all these years. That's what it is. Is all these years of like near constant use, it's just finally starting to wear down and fall apart. And that's sad, but also No, it's just sad. It makes you realize that Time keeps going. Life don't slow down. Ow. Stop it. Go away. <sighs> I 
Someday we'll all be gummed up sticks. Well, that's just a Mario 64 enemy. That's, what are they called? They're like water, they're like sliders, right? What are they called? I can't remember now. That's all that is. Legally, I don't think they're allowed to do that. Well, now how do I get over there? Oh. Put the gun down, sir. Sir, you are under arrest. Is there anything down in this pit? Nope. Death. I love the music in this game. It's such a, like, uh... Harmonic ambience is how I would describe it. There's a, there's a harmony, but the song is also, like, very, uh... It's, it's good background music for a game. It's like how I describe like the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack. Maybe melodic ambience. Ow. Sir. So put the gun down. Okay. I don't know what I just picked up, but okay. Uh, which way should I go? Can I even make that jump? Not at all. Nope. Uh. Well, which way did I come in? Why do these light up? Why are they flashing like that? That's very strange. Hello, monkey. Sir. Put the gun down. Alright, two more monkeys. I had a book as a kid. This has everything to do with everything. I had a book as a kid. You know, like the 12 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Um, and I had a book and all their heads were like plastic. And as you, you know... The, the last page would have, like, uh, had, like, no monkeys, no monkey heads. Uh, the second to last page would have, like, one monkey head. And so each as you go up, there'd be more monkey heads because you start with the 12 monkeys. And uh, I just, I remember really liking that book, but only really liking it because I thought the monkey head idea was cool. Your laptop is as good as dead. Rip, dude. Is it just like running at like one frame per second? Oh, there's the Spectre Coin. Okay, so that's how we get that. I guess we'll just leave. Let's just get out of here. What do you. What. I mean, what do you think is wrong with it? Do you think, like, the CPU is just, like, old and dead? Or, like, do you think, uh... I don't know what to tell you. All, I guess all I can tell you is look for deals on a new laptop. Dude, get a Chromebook. But, how, sir? Oh, the explosives. Hold on. Watch this. Absolute genius. Let's commit acts of terrorism to get these monkeys. Okay. I don't know why it won't just like work, but we're gonna catch this monkey. Got him. Okay, one more monkey. Where could he be? Yep, here. I, I am in, like, a, a state of constant worry about my laptop just dying. 
Um, mostly because I just don't want to spend any, like, sizable chunk of money right now. Um, because I'm saving up for a car. Uh, so a laptop dying would terrify me, but I also can't, literally cannot function without my laptop. I need my laptop for work. So if my laptop died, I would, I mean, I would be straight up forced to get a new laptop. And I would not go with like a cheap garbage one. I would try to get a decent one. Can I crawl through here? No, I'm too big. But I've also had my laptop for years now. I've, uh, I mean, the thing's almost a decade old, actually. It was a really good laptop for the time. I remember playing, like, brand new games on that laptop. Um, like, the laptop came with with Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, like, uh, almost right after it came out. It was a good, a good high-powered laptop a decade ago. Nowadays, it can still, you know, it still works, other than the battery is, I guess, shot. Uh, it always says it's charging, and it never is. But, um, other than that, it still works okay. I can still play a lot of games on it. I mean, Christ, I can still play Minecraft on it. As long as I can play Minecraft, I'll never be bored. That's not true at all. That is not true at all. Hey, let me in. Hey, monkey. Hey, let me in. Uh, sorry, monkey. <sighs> oh, did we... Oh, you know what? We never checked. We kind of like... There was like a Y right at the very start. And we went on the top. Let's, let's check the bottom. Oh, boy. Rolling platforms. Maybe, uh... Well... I'll see y'all in the afterlife. Oh... Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, this is another one of those boxes. You can tell you can push it from the big hand. Oh, last monkey. Sir, gun down, sir. Sir, he's got a weapon. Sir. I need backup. Okay. We're making good progress. We're making hot progress right now. I'm honestly impressed with how quick this is going. Thank you. I'm impressed one on how quick this is going. <gasps> oh. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, so I think Just this is as far as I got. Follow me. I think I beat Jake the first time, and then that was like where I saved and then never came back. So after this, we're heading into uncharted territory. Let's go. Oh, I already screwed up. Okay, that's right. I'm faster than him. Am I? No, I think... Oh. Well. Hold on. It's not over till it's over. He might be slower than me. Alright, we're gonna do like the Mario 64 butt burn. He's gone. He is gone. Look at look at him on the mini map. He is way ahead. I can wait. We can catch up. We can close the gap. Oh no, it's not a swimming segment. Can I like net him? Here we go. We're gonna. Is he wearing like Mickey Mouse gloves? Why does he? Have, oh my god. Why does he? Have, oh god. Oh, this is it. This is it. No. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh my body. Bye Jake. Sorry I lost. You're pretty good. But it's not over yet. I definitely am not pretty good. I would not say that. Uh, let's save just real quick just lightning quick let's get a save in and then I think we can reface Jake what are we at now we got to be at like 15% right 12 I'll take it I think maybe it's just I'm so used to modern games being like 90 plus hours long that this game not being that long is making me be like, wow, major progress. But in actuality, we just suck and we're just like failing our way through it. Uh, yeah. I'm not letting Jake beat me. I am not moving on to the next stage until... Until Jake eats my dust. Get out of my way, Jake. Let me show you how a real... Oh my god. Look at his jumping skills. How do I learn to jump like that? All right, but I'm faster on foot. That's actually true. That is actually factual. I am faster on foot, but he's got these super jumps. All right, we need to not die. Okay, okay, follow us around. Oh, oh, no. Oh, this is Sense Fortress all over again, dude. Oh, no. He won. <sighs> we'll get him next time. At least it doesn't take lives when you lose, I think. So this is where he pulls super far ahead. Because he can just do that. As long as we can see him, we can beat him. Oh, cause he, is he just like normal? Is there like an actual lore reason that he swims slower? Does he not have like the cool jet? No, please, 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 please get up, get up. Oh, go, 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 go. Eat my dust, yes. bitch. Oh my god, that is a lot. I'll go against you anytime you want. That's a lot of spectre tokens. I'll take them. Uh well, we could do a stage and then we'll save. I'll regret that later. Okay. Krabby Beach. I think I remember doing this one. Look what I've got. A new gadget. A new gadget. Is it the hula hoop? 
Yeah. It protects you and makes you run faster. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training booth. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. I love the hula hoop. I love the hula hoop because it's just it's more speed. The only issue is you you really do have to do some like Mario Party One stuff to get this to work. Yeah, yeah I know. Like you gotta go with the palm in your hand to get that the it charged up. Wait, wait, what was that? Here's a secret. You can also request the gadget. Okay. Cool. In this next period, you'll find that most of the planet is covered with water. The water net will be very useful in catching the apes. There are lots of dangerous Okay, so we got a lot of swimmers. Be careful. Thanks, Professor. This one. I like the monkeys having fun. Um, okay, we're gonna get rid of the, the radar because we barely use the monkey radar. Wait, if I jump. Oh, I didn't. I had no idea you could do that. That is news to me. I don't know what you would use that for. Oh, God, the frame rate. But that is news to me. Sorry, sleep monkey. Sorry, I gotta ruin your vacation. Okay, listen, sir. Do you mind, sir? Get out of here, crab. Why can't I catch this monkey? Sir, get out of that tree, sir. Sir? That's it. Now I'm getting mad. Hop down here. Get down here, sir. Sir? Yeah. I'm gonna need backup. We got, uh... We got a monkey who just won't quit. Why can't I catch this monkey? Why am I this inept? <laughs> sir? Sir? Get down here, sir. Jesus. That was bad. That was really bad, Jen. Uh, can I kill these crabs? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I want. I just want some health to make up for that mistake. For that nightmare. Oh, that monkey was sad. Why was he sad? I'll give him a reason to be sad. There. Now he has a reason. There we go. No loitering on the beach. No acts of vandalism on the beach. Alright, that's taken care of. Now to arrest the culprits. Where'd they go? Where'd that one monkey go? There he is. Sir? Sir, did you commit these acts of vandalism? Listen, sir, come here. Sir, now you, sir, you fell right into my trap. It's easier to catch him underwater. All right, any other? It's illegal to sunbathe on the beach, sir. So I'm going to need to ask you to leave. 
Sir, come here. Sir, you're under arrest. Jeez, only one more monkey. This level's uh, very fun, but very easy. Are there any like cool underwater hidden monkeys? Are there any sea monkeys? Chat, did you ever have sea monkeys? Sea monkeys were like all the rage when I was a kid. I remember going to summer camp and this one girl had sea monkeys that she like loved. She had these sea monkeys with her they were like strapped to her backpack and she like carried around them around every day and then like two weeks in two or three weeks in they just died from like i think they were like out in the sun too long and the sea monkeys just bit the dust i wonder what that girl's up to now probably still mourning her sea monkeys her long lost sea monkeys. Truly a tragedy. What is this? Catch the number of monkeys. Oh, okay. Oh, where are we going? Is there a monkey? I guess I could use the monkey radar. Hold on. Hmm. Totally out of it. Is there any monkeys down here? I don't think there are any monkeys down here. I think this is all just a ploy to get more uh, shiny triangles. I don't know what they're called, honestly. See, that water looks different from the normal water, so I don't trust it. I don't trust blue water. I only trust clear water. Because blue, uh, blue water means one or two things. Either one, you're in a really healthy place. You know, like the, the health, the quality of the water is really good. Which I'm never in that kind of place. Or, there's chemicals in it. So I only trust clear water. Laugh now. Or, am I squishing him? <gasps> Look at him. Squish. Squish. Sorry, you gotta die, sir. Sir. I need you. Yeah. Stay right there, sir. That was really dumb. You just let me across. Why does he have a UFO? We gotta get out of there. Yes. Okay, let's save. time is it chat it's almost nine o'clock okay what i've learned here tonight this is my lesson nobody wants to watch ape escape but i very much want to play ape escape on stream so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'm having fun talking about monkeys. I'm having fun. And if no one wants to watch it, that's their problem.
I will single-handedly revive the Ape Escape category on Twitch. I will make Ape Escape the biggest, hottest game on Twitch. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I need my hoop back. Thank you. Like I said, mark my words. When the next Ape Escape gets announced later this year for the PlayStation 5, people will be playing Ape Escape 1, 2, and 3. People will be cashing in on the nostalgia and the hype. And when that happens, chat, you point them you you point people to this stream. And you remind them who the original Ape Escape Twitch man was. Oh. Go. Oh, we gotta go. <sighs> this is difficult. I can't see. Oh, jump. That was actually, that was a pro gamer move. I'm actually surprised I was able to do that. Okay, um, right, so that was cool. I got that one monkey. Now where do I go? <laughs> like, uh, where's the rest of the stage? Is it down here in this pit? Yeah. Oh, that monkey got a shark. Um. Hello. Shark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I get him? I think I got him. Give me this other monkey. Give me this other monkey. Other monkey, come here. <laughs> There's a loose shark swimming around and he is pissed. And I need to get out of here. Oh my god. Why are there so many loose sharks? Please, up, please go up. Okay. All right. Oh, help. Oh, okay. Cookie, that's the first time we've seen a cookie jar. All right, is there another monkey around here? Is there a monkey floating in the water somewhere? I don't believe so. Can I grab that? No. Yes, I can. <laughs> you know, say what you will about my ability to play games. I'm very good at reading what a game wants me to do. I can, I can do that at least. Whether I can actually pull it off is a different story. But I can figure out what it wants me to do. And that's like half the battle. Okay. For some reason I can't double jump off that one. That makes that hard. Because I need the double jump because the actual jump is very stiff. And that double jump gives you just a little bit more movement. There we go. Okay. Now, we need to double jump off of that one. Got it. Sir, gun. 
Sir, put your gun down. Sir. Alright, we need one more monk. Oh god, the shards. Um. Maybe this way? No, that's just a wall. Well, monkey radar. Wait. That way. There's a monkey this way. It's actually probably a really good thing that they put the monkey radar in this game. Just because render distance is a bitch. Oh, that's what that enemy is supposed to look like. Earlier it only rendered its face. It only rendered its eyes and its mouth. Ow. Okay. Is that a, no, that's just a blue mailbox. The color of monkey's pants show their abilities. Okay. Okay. Listen here, you son of a bitch. Sir. Oh, it really is Sen's Fortress. Goodbye. Ow. Are there any monkeys down here? Hello? Monkeys? No. There's a monkey. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna super die. Okay, we're alright. Okay, so we got it. We got to cross the bridge in Sen's Fortress. And we can get the last monkey. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um. Okay, go, 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 go. Please don't get in the UFO. Okay. Because I don't know what to do if he gets in the UFO. I have not prepared for that yet. Let's uh, let's save and let's let's read some monkey descriptions. Let's read some monkey bios. That's always like whenever people talk about this game, that's always like one of the main things they talk about is the monkey book. Cuz it's just it's the little things, right? It adds such an extra layer of, of personality to the game. How do, I, how do I look at monkey? Okay. Okay, so the first one we caught was Noonan. Has helmet hair problems. Uh, Georgie. That's an interesting way of spelling that. Wants to watch wrestling. Hey, me too, George. Natty dances to loud music. Okay. Uh huh. Shay just chilling. Yo, Shay just be vibing though. Doctor Monk, wondering when lunch is. Achu, afraid of dinosaurs. Grunt, enjoying the view. Scotty, won't go out in the rain. Coco, can handstand for days. That's impressive. That is honestly impressive. Jay Thomas, coming out of his shell. Well, hey, good for you, Jay Thomas. Maddie, could be Dino's next meal. Marquise, knows great hiding places. Livingston, can disappear in a flash. I think these were the two who were hiding in the plants. I like these sad monkeys a lot. I really like the sad monkeys. 
George. Now, George, yeah, George was the gunman. All right. Oh, and he's a monkey. Curious George. Why did they give Curious George a gun? That seems like a terrible idea. Herb fall, fools around too much. Dillweed, of course, our friend Dillweed. Lazy little guy. Matong, attracted to shiny things. Stan, searching for gold. Kenny, guarding the entrance. Mushi, worn out from running. Nuzzy, his short legs are speedy. Oh, this was the one we had to sneak by. So this is, this is a monkey level three. This is a tier three monkey. Mav, uh, dreams about being a star. Papu, crazy from solitude. Frito, needs clean underwear. Troopa, pushy little dude. Steiny, shot a hole in his foot. St Whoa! Steiny! Yikes! Jesta, looks angry, acts mean. Pally, has the soul of a poet. Cool blue, ate pink seaweed at lunch. Well, that's, that's good. Sandy, sand architect. He's the one who was committing all these acts of domestic graffiti. Shelly, catching some rays. Gidget, life is just a vacation. Shaka, too jumpy to stand still. Chip, little juvenile delinquent. Yeah, he's the one with the shark. Oreo. Love is a secret flame. Puddles. Bored out of his mind. Kalama. Sees ultraviolet colors. What does that mean? Is. Hasn't slept in days. And uh, that's everyone. That's everyone we've caught so far. That's a, that's a good chunk of monkeys. We're like, what? Almost 20%? That's pretty good. I am... I am I, I do think I'm going to call it here, though. Um, I know it's a really short stream tonight, but um, I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired. Um, and you guys got me yesterday, and you're getting me to tomorrow, too. So, Ape Escape's definitely a game we're going to be playing a lot on the stream. Uh, and hopefully... Hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy playing it. I really, really like playing classic 3D platformers. Because that's my favorite. Those are my favorite games ever. Are old school platformers. And um, I know, you know, the short indie games are probably the more entertaining games to watch on stream. They're probably more what you want to see. But, um, the, the classic games, the retro games, are something I feel very strongly I want to play. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try and keep a balance of the two, while also, you know, just dipping our toes into the weird in the ways we can. So, uh, I'm gonna call it for the night. I, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Encore. We will be playing itch.io baby games um god that's gonna be weird there's some there's some weird shit in that but uh other than that chat um bod boys thank you for being here i will see you all very soon Woo! then check this out